Hello students. In last lecture, we studied about primary memory, where we saw that memory is basically divided into three categories. Primary memory is one of them, so now we'll discuss cache memory. The speed at which the processor can assess data is very large as compared to that of main memory. To compensate the speed difference between the main memory assess time and processor, cache memory is employed in the computer system. It is used to store segments of a program currently being executed. It also stores the temporary data frequently needed during program execution. It also helps to increase the computer performance by providing the program and data at a rapid rate. Since now the CPU will not assess data from main memory, instead will assess from cache. So, the cache memory is typically integrated with CPU chip or placed on a separate chip with a separate bus to interconnect with the CPU. As the CPU processes data, it firstly checks it in the cache memory. If it finds the instructions, the CPU need not waste time reading data from the RAM or other storage devices and thereby speed up the program. Now let's move towards secondary storage. Secondary memory is a type of non-volatile memory. It is not directly accessible by the CPU because it can be accessed through the input or output channels. It is a device that can be connected to the computer externally. It is used to store a very large amount of data at a lesser cost as compared to the primary memory which is very expensive. Let's now look at types of secondary memory. Hard disk, floppy disk, CDs, Flash drives are all examples of secondary memories commonly used today. The hard disk. It is also called a hard disk drive, HDT, or hard drive or fixed disk. It has tracks to store data and the data is recorded electromagnetically on tracks. It can store large amount of data and it is both readable and writable. Floppy disk. This is also called a floppy or diskette or just disk. Floppy disk can be read and written on by a floppy disk drive, FDT. It is composed of a thin, flexible magnetic disk sealed in a square plastic carrier. CDs. Compact disk is a digital optical disk for data storage. Computers can only read CD-ROMs but cannot write on them. CD-ROMs unless they have CD writer. CDs are made with one or more metal disc covered with a metal oxide. They are capable of storing digital information. The most prevalent types of compact disc are those used by the music industry to store digital recordings and CD-ROMs are used to store computer data. Flash disc. This is a small storage device shaped like a pen. It is a built-in data storage that connects to a computer by a USB port. Advantages of secondary memory include It can be used as a backup memory which can store large amount of data. It is non-volatile in nature. Data stored in it is permanently even if power is not supplied. Disadvantages of secondary memory include It is much slower than primary memory. Data can be lost easily if it is not kept properly. It is limited in size. It's susceptible to viruses. Thank you.